Welcome to the sixth video for Chapter 2, our unit on data analysis. In this video, we're going to learn about conversion factors, which are an integral part of a process called dimensional analysis. Dimensional analysis, sometimes called the factor label method, is a process of solving problems by rearranging the units or labels so that they can cancel out. We're going to be multiplying by one or more conversion factors to convert from our starting units to our ending units. And the starting and ending values are going to have the same meaning, but they're merely going to be expressed in different units. For example, one yard means the same as three feet, so I can, I can express a value in either feet or yards. If I start in feet, and if I have the value of 18 feet, Rather than dividing by 3, which is something that you've probably been doing for all of your life, and you can sense would give you the correct answer, what we're going to end up doing is multiplying by a conversion factor. So it will look like this. We're going to start with 18 feet, multiply by 1 yard, divided by 3 feet. And that's going to give us an answer of 6 yards. Um, I'm using 6.0 again because of significant figures. So two significant figures. And in this case, the feet are going to cancel out, and we'll talk more about this later on, and leave units of yards. The one yard over three feet is called the conversion factor, and the nice thing about conversion factors is that we're going to be able to multiply all the time rather than worrying about do I divide, do I multiply, which one is the correct one to do. All right, so what are conversion factors? There are two different ways of looking at conversion factors. First, and a conversion factor can be thought of as an equality between one unit of a given measurement and another unit of the same measurement or the same type of measurement. So for example, we saw on the previous slide that we had one yard equal to three feet. We also may realize, may remember that 16 ounces is the same as one pound and that 1,000 milliliters is equal to one liter. All right, so we get two conversion factors for each equality, and the conversion factors are going to be reciprocals of each other. We have, for the first equality, we take the one yard and three feet, and that gives us that. We have one yard for every three feet, or three feet for every yard, reciprocals of each other. Same thing for the 16 ounces, one pound. In all cases, in one of the conversion factors, one of the units is on top, and the other conversion factor, the other unit is on top. And likewise, 1,000 milliliters in one liter, or one liter for every 1,000 milliliters. All right. The other kind of unit is a per unit. These are units that tie two different units together. For example, miles per gallon, density of grams per centimeter, or a speed of 8.9 meters per second. As with the other ones, we have a reciprocal, and we have a number, and it's reciprocal. And in these numbers, you can think of the number in the, in the, behind the per as really having a 1 in front of it. So we have 35 miles for every 1 gallon, or 1 gallon for every 35 miles. Pretty good gas mileage. A density of 2.5 grams per cubic centimeter means that if you have 1 cubic centimeter, you have 2.5 grams or if you have 2.5 grams, you have one cubic centimeter. Again, those reciprocals are going to be used different times. And finally, 8.9 meters in one second. If you're traveling for one second, you must be going at, you must travel 8.9 meters. Which conversion factor is used will depend on the direction of the conversion, and we're gonna see more about how this works in the next video. The reason this works is because what we're doing is essentially multiplying our starting number by 1. Remember that multiplying anything by 1 returns the same value. And so all a conversion factor is doing is relating two equivalent units. So we're merely replacing the same quantity with a different set of units. Units can cancel the same way that numbers do, and that's how this works. So recall, for instance, that if you have two fractions being multiplied together, if you have the same number in the numerator and in the denominator, then they cancel out. The twos will cancel out here and leave us with three-fourths. We're going to do the same thing with units. 
So when multiplying by a conversion factor, the original units cancel out. Let's rearrange this and show you how that works. We start with 18 feet times 1 yard divided by 3 feet. Let's group the feet together. We pull the feet together from here and here, one in the numerator, one in the denominator. Now we have a, a number in which we have one thing divided by itself. Anything divided by itself is one. So essentially what we've done is crossed out the feet and now we're just multiplying by one. Here's our unit of yards left over and so our answer becomes 6.0 yards. I want you to try it now. I've got these six equalities. I'm going to pause the video now and I want you to try to figure out all 12 conversion factors, two for each inequality. All right, so we're back and here's what we have. In our first case, we have one foot over 12 inches or 12 inches over one foot. There's one gallon per four quarts or four quarts per one gallon. It really all means the same thing. 100 centimeters divided by one meter or one meter divided by 100 centimeters. In a flow rate, we can have 12.5 liters flowing for every minute or one minute is how long it takes for 12.5 liters to flow. 2,490 kilograms over one cubic meter is another way of expressing density or one meter cubed over 2,490 kilograms. And finally, you can even use this for money at the pump, pay $3.95 $3 per gallon, or if you buy one gallon, it's going to cost you $3.95. So we will practice these some more in class tomorrow. Move on now to the next video where we take a look at uh, learning how to use the process of dimensional analysis.